In this example, we go through the very basics of how to set up a simulation with physics. We do this in an interactive Python session. First, we must import the modules we need. These are Physic, NumPy and ASC. From ASC, we only need the Atoms object, which is used for defining the geometry. So, let us define our system as an Atoms object. For a simple demonstration, let there be only two helium atoms. We can define their chemical species and initial positions. Atoms also defines the simulation cell, but we won't touch that in this example. Now we have constructed an atomistic system, but there are no interactions, and therefore we must specify how the forces and potential energies are calculated in our system. We do this with physics. We create a potential object for this purpose. In this case, a simple Leonard Jones potential is sufficient. If we examine the potential, we see that it is indeed a Leonard Jones potential, but all the physical parameters are still missing, and so we have to fill in the blanks. We could have defined the parameters as we created the potential, but it is often more convenient to set the properties one by one. There are a number of things a potential needs in order to work. It must know what type it is, which atoms it affects, how long is its range, and how is it parameterized. The type was set upon creation of the potential object. The atoms that are targeted may be defined in a number of ways, for instance, by the chemical species. So, let our potential affect helium-helium pairs up to a range of 10 angstroms with parameters epsilon equals 1 and sigma equals 2. If we examine the potential again, we see that the parameters we gave have been registered and the potential is now ready to work. The system and the potential are still separate and we need to join them together. This is done with the physics object. The reason why the potential cannot be directly given to the atomic system is that there can be many potentials working on the same system, and there has to be some sort of a general calculator that collects and joins them all together. This is physics. The calculations can now be invoked through both the atoms and the physics objects. Both calls are eventually directed to physics. There is a library of methods for calculations of various physical quantities, for instance, the total potential energy or the atomic forces are obtained with simple one-line inquiries.